Hello and welcome to another standard game video. Today we're gonna have some fun in the play queue with this Rakdos Reanimator deck since it scores pretty high on the jank meter but it is a lot of fun when it goes off and it features some cards that I haven't seen too many other people play with including four copies of Illicit Masquerade. This is our main reanimation card, a four mana enchantment with flash so we can play it in the opponent's turn as well if we'd like and when it enters we put an imposter counter on each creature we control and then whenever a creature we control with one of those imposter counters on it dies we exile it and return up to one other target creature card from our graveyard to the battlefield so in order to reanimate a creature we first need a creature in play with a counter on it and then that creature needs to die and then we can potentially bring back multiple creatures if we had multiple creatures with imposter counters on them now masquerade's nice as a four mana card since we can also search it up with beseech the mirror including casting masquerade right away if we bargained beseech and there's plenty of artifacts and random tokens we can sacrifice to enable it and then once we successfully use masquerade to reanimate our key creature which is ovika we can actually use beseech the mirror as kind of a finisher to immediately combo kill the opponent so how does it work well first we need to get ovika in the graveyard using our many discard outlets early in the game some of our creatures make blood tokens so they kind of double up as creatures to enable masquerade as well as ways to discard ovika then once we can actually bring back ovika to the battlefield it says whenever we cast a non-creature spell create x 1 1 red goblin creature tokens where x is the mana value of that spell and they also gain haste until end of turn so then all we need to do is cast one beseech the mirror bargained by sacking a random artifact or token can even sack the masquerade itself as an enchantment then we'll trigger ovika making four goblin tokens since we cast a four mana non-creature spell Beseech the Mirror with Bargain gets another Beseech the Mirror, which in turn we can also bargain sacking a Goblin token we just generated with Ovika if needed. So we can essentially string together all the Beseeches that are left in our deck, which will usually result in about 12 or more Goblin tokens. And then to finish it all off, we'll search up our Warhost's Frenzy, a three mana instant, giving our creatures two extra power. You can also maybe kick it to draw a few extra cards, but simply by casting the Frenzy, we make some more Goblin tokens, and then all those Goblins will get three power total, and thanks to Haste, they can immediately attack and close out the game in most circumstances. So that's our combo finish. Then we also have four copies of Carnosaur, which we can use as early removal, and then it's also a nice creature that ends up in the graveyard to maybe bring back with Masquerade, in those kind of mid-range battles we can extract a lot of value out of our masquerade and uh, then carnosaur if we bring it back can discover five so can maybe even hit some of our four drops and then rounding out the deck is the early enablers these are artifacts and creatures we can potentially sack to bargain and then of course creatures to enable the masquerade so goldhound is perfect here as a one mana artifact creature we can sack it to bargain if needed but more importantly once we put masquerade on the battlefield and put an imposter counter on the goldhound we can sacrifice it at will to immediately bring back a ovika or a carnosaur from the graveyard so we don't need the opponent to cooperate then we've got Epicure and, of course, Blood Tithe Harvester as vampires making blood tokens. So the blood tokens can also discard Ovika. And Harvester, once again, can also be sacrificed even if we don't take out an opposing creature with the ability. Simply sacrificing the Harvester can be good enough to reanimate Ovika or Carnosaur. Then a Scoundrel can make treasure tokens if we need those for bargain. Or I guess the Wicked Roll token can also work. And then can also discard and draw. So another discard outlet. And then the Mutt, an artifact creature that can also discard and draw when it enters and even has unearth. So plenty of cheap enablers. And yeah, that's pretty much our entire deck. The mana base has plenty of black red dual lands since we do need triple black for Beseech the Mirror. So can't afford to play too many mountains, but uh, still need a few in order to cast our one drops on curve. And uh, then the, the Restless Vents can also turn into a creature land that can also help us discard and draw. And then some more channel lands for added interaction. So yeah, that's our janky Rakdos Reanimator deck. Let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand's just missing Ovika. But uh, just Carnosaur reanimated with Masquerade could be alright. Let's see what our opponent's up to. Also red black with Epicure. Maybe more of a sacrifice deck. So there's nothing I actively want to discard with a Mutt. We don't have to. Yeah, I guess we'll stay put for now. Could have discarded a land, perhaps. And there's Anvil, so confirms a sacrifice deck. 
So we're going to want to take out the artifact tokens so they maybe struggle to keep the anvil going. And I don't want to trade just yet since it's better to have some creatures in play to go with the masquerade. So we'll do this now so they don't get a replacement 1-1 one, one, and then we can attack. So first maybe play Epicure before deploying the Masquerade. Our opponent needs to generate some more artifacts. They can maybe sack Epicure and make a map token. Nope, it's going to be Obnixilus instead. So Anvil's not going to do anything here, but they can start making Devil tokens. The discard here could actually be an advantage. For now, I think I hang on to all my spells. Okay, picked up Harvester. That's decent. So, I think we just attack with the Mutt. If we're putting blocks with the Devil, we could flash and masquerade, get back Carnosaur. That's kind of nice. Or we could play more creatures first, so the masquerade generates more value. Close call. Getting a Carnosaur in play could be pretty effective, especially if we hit something expensive with a Discover. So, yeah, let's uh, maybe go for it anyway. So, Surprise Masquerade. Mud dies. And get back Carnosaur. And what do we hit? A Harvester. Alright, not the worst. Now we can always Besiege with Bargain sacking either our Blood Token or the Masquerade itself to get another one. For now Vran plus their own Harvester. So they've got a Blood Token for Anvil now. Obnixils can activate. So we're slowly getting drained to death here. Ovika was a huge draw. Okay, so I definitely want to take out Vran here, given the chance. Then I can play both Harvester and Epicure, use a Blood Token to discard Ovika, and then next turn Beseech for another Masquerade with a Harvester to maybe enable it right away. Yeah, that sounds good. So take out Vran. Carnosaur can attack one of Nixilis. Better to finish off the token first in case they have another in hand. We are taking a bit of damage off our pain lands as well here. Which is not ideal. And I don't expect too much graveyard hate, so I could discard Ovika now. In case I draw a tap line, I still want to play. Alright, another harvester. Might be time to discard to the Obnixilus ability. Get rid of Harvester. Next turn we can Besiege. Get another Masquerade. Sack Harvester to get back Ovika. Forge can also apply a bit more pressure here. And their Harvester also attacks. I think I chump their Harvester. If I block here, they'll sacrifice it. But uh, I guess they get to deal one damage regardless. And we want to keep our Harvester to enable the next Masquerade. Oh, is this a pump spell? Conviction to sacrifice and draw to makes sense. And a research desk. Anvil down to 5. And we drew the Masquerade, so now I don't even have to Beseech. 
And then we can keep the Besiege to maybe close out the game next turn, assuming we're still alive. So yeah, we'll play the Masquerade. Activate Harvester on Harvester. Get back Ovika. And I guess we can even get back Harvester with two Masquerades. That's pretty nice. And then finish off Obnixilis, and hopefully two blockers will suffice. And then next turn with Besiege, we're gonna go crazy. Another Forge is survivable. So we fall to three here. We'll have to take another point off our Sulphur Springs. But then we should be able to close out the game next turn. Okay. Opponent up to 24. Can easily deal more damage. Drawing the Frenzy was actually a bit unfortunate here. Could now also just cast a Frenzy, I suppose, but this is more fun. So, bargain. Get another Beseech. Bargain it. Can also sag the Masquerade at this point. Get another Beseech. Sadly, we don't have the Finale to search up anymore, since we drew the Frenzy. So we do miss out on quite a bit of damage but we'll have more than enough. Okay. And then for our last card, I guess we could get a Scoundrel. I suppose we technically deal a bit more damage if we just get another non-creature spell, like another Masquerade, for instance. It would add four more goblins, which is a bit more than the Scoundrel. But uh, yeah, easily 24 damage. With Frenzy, this would have been quite a bit more. So yeah, got to see our combo in action. And uh, even got to see double Masquerade getting back two creatures at once. So it does stack pretty nicely in multiples if you have enough stuff in the graveyard to return. Our opponent seems to have disconnected. So opponent can uh, chump harvester, take 2931, I believe. And our opponent takes it all and explodes. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with a uh, keepable hand. Couple ways to discard Ovika, and then Masquerade in hand already. So then we just need our Besiege for the combo finish. Opponent maybe on a Convoke deck, turn one Inspector. Can play Mutts, and then next turn Harvester. Got our lands. Harvester is a bit more important to protect since it's a better enabler for Masquerade. So on the off chance that they have some removal, I think this is fine. And then want to keep my creatures on the battlefield if possible, since uh, they'll get a counter for Masquerade. Now Carnosaur, an interesting draw as well. So opponent, not your traditional Convoke deck. Carnosaur could be used before we set up the Masquerade, but either way, I probably want the Harvester on the battlefield. So, can start there. And then uh, I'll just pass it back. Don't think the two damage from Mutt's gonna matter too much. Could use the Blood Token to discard Carnosaur as well, and then next turn Masquerade anyway. And then even though Harvester doesn't take anything out, I can still sacrifice it to bring back either Ovika or Carnosaur. But we can also play it slow and try and get more value. Ooh, Dreadfeast Demon makes me think our opponent's playing the new 4-mana Kaya, so they can turn a token into a Dreadfeast Demon, 
So keeping the Carnosaur as an instant speed answer could be important. So yeah, now with Goldhound, I guess that's a good incentive to just pass with Carnosaur available and see what happens. Now I guess Kaya can turn any token into the demon because that could matter if they just turn one of their other artifacts into a creature. I can't really respond in time. Informant attacks. I'll take it. Although I'm probably going to end up using Carnosaur on it. And a Tai size next. Also a good target now. So before it gets a chance to trigger, we want to take it out. And then this Masquerade should be quite beautiful next turn. Since we have both Harvester and Goldhound that we can immediately sacrifice. And a Besiege, so next turn we can go for the combo finish as well. So Harvester take out, let's say, the Informant. Get back Ovika for starters. And then there's a chance I hit another Besiege off the Discover, which would let me just win right now. I guess Ovika herself doesn't have haste, but yeah, we actually hit Besiege with Bargain. Sacking at this point, probably the Blood Token, keep Masquerade. Now I do have a Besiege in hand, and again Ovika can't attack here, but I think we'll be able to do some damage. So Bargain, maybe at this point actually sack the Masquerade to keep an extra Goblin. That's our last Besiege we can search up. But we can still pump our team. And I even have the Black Floating to kick it, not that it really makes a difference. And attack all outs. Yeah, that should do it. Wow, that was impressive. Masquerade instantly bringing back Ovika and Carnosaur, and also finding Besiege to completely combo off. Well, that's what the deck is capable of with a good draw. Of course, won't happen every time. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and we've got a Keeper, I think. Missing Masquerade and Besiege, but Double Harvester goes a long way. And then Carnosaur is something else we wouldn't mind reanimating. Put into Mono White so far. And an Officer, so this Mono White aggro. Found Masquerade. So one Harvester we can maybe trade off early, and then the second one we could try to use to uh, enable the Masquerade. Cathar is going to slow that down. So now they probably keep Skrelv back to protect the Cathar. So we'll have to deal with Skrelv first. Maybe I just play Harvester, and then we can use a Blood Token to discard Ovika, and then next turn we either Masquerade or more likely use Carnosaur, and then we can try to take out both Skrelv and Cathar. Assuming they don't have another one. So we'll pass it back. Vanguard, okay. So now their humans have Ward 1. We can still pay for the Ward on Cathar. And yeah, we'll have to take 6 here. So we're falling pretty low. Cliffs is a bit late to the party. Untap, find another Harvester. But uh, yeah, the plan's gonna be use Harvester on Skrelv, and then they might use it, but we can just respond with Carnosaur on Cathar. It will switch to nighttime since we didn't actually cast any spells here. So future Cathars will enter on the nightbound side.
All right, so now we've got a Harvester in play. And Carnosaur and Ovika both in the graveyard. So hopefully we get to untap here and uh, kind of go off next turn. This is an attack for eight if we block Vanguard. But then I won't have a creature in play to set up the Masquerade. Which, uh, yeah, kind of defeats the purpose. But of course if we take it, we're just dead. So don't really have a choice, but I also don't see us beating this Adlin next turn with what we have going on. So yeah, that's too bad. Opponent had a nice aggressive draw here. Found a Beseech. Yeah, if we had a one of Sweeper in the deck, that might have saved us, as we can even bargain it with a Blood Token. But as is, there's nothing I can think of that uh, does it here. So yeah, GG's. Plenty of blood tokens available. And yeah, two more turns. If we got to keep Harvester alive, Masquerade back of Ika, and then turn after Besiege for the win. But just didn't have enough time to set it all up. And I guess even if we did Besiege for a Sweeper, there's still Mishra's Foundry to worry about, so that might not have done it either. Alright, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and we've got a keepable hand. Turn on Gold Hounds, Mud discards Ovika, and turn three we could cast a Masquerade, but of course better to wait another turn so we can actually uh, use Gold Hound to get back Ovika. Opponent's a blue black. Hoping they don't have any graveyard hates. Found another Gold Hound. So something like a Carnosaur would be good to find. Never mind, Deep Cavern Bat now. Snipes or Masquerade. So now we don't have our reanimation spell anymore until we find an answer to the Bat. So I guess Carnosaur would be an answer to the Bat. First time reading Masquerade, I'm sure, as we draw another one. I'll take it. So. Opponent's never going to block here, but I could attack with Mutt and then Flash and Masquerade. If they block, we get Ovika back. I guess it's worth a shot. Opponent's going to take it. Just play another Gold Hound for now, because playing Masquerade with only Mutt getting that uh, counter doesn't really help us when our opponent can just kind of ignore the 2-1 on the ground. Spyglass Siren's acceptable. So, yeah, ideally we still top deck a Carnosaur here to put in the graveyard before playing Masquerade. But otherwise I'll take my Ovika. The Siege was excellent. Okay, so, yeah, should be safe to go for it here. Just play the Masquerade before they can potentially counter it. And then we can sack Gold Hounds. Get back Ovika, which our opponent won't be able to remove this early in the game. And attack with maybe just Gold Hound for now. And then next turn we can Beseech, chain them together, and combo kill our opponent. Next turn they can maybe go for the throats, but uh, yeah, Shield is not gonna cut it. Awesome. Drew the Beseech, which is not ideal, but we'll still get there with uh, two left in the deck. So need to sack something to bargain. Could also make it the Masquerade at this point. Find another Beseech. With bargain. Sack a Goblin. And get now our last Beseech. With bargain. And now get our finisher. Warhost Frenzy. 
without kicker. And attack. And hopefully that'll do it. Opponent's got three blockers, so not enough to survive here. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand's just missing some cheap enablers for Masquerade. And of course a discard outlet for Ovika, but uh, yeah, this hand's got potential. Another Ovika is not quite what we were looking for. Opponent's blue-green, maybe a ramp deck. Or blue-green artifacts. Found Goldhound. I think uh, just take out the cookie now with Carnosaur before they untap. And then we're somewhat likely to draw some other cheap card we can play alongside Goldhound, which will set up Masquerade to get back Carnosaur at the very least. But ideally we can uh, discard Ovika. Ooh, Cauldron, that's a problem. That can exile Carnosaur from our graveyard. So it's going to be pretty tricky to reanimate stuff now. Yeah, if I play Mud, discard Ovika, opponent knows to exile it. So we kind of need a blood token to discard Ovika, end of turn, hope our opponent used Cauldron to begin with. Yeah, that's asking a lot. Do have a second Ovika. So maybe it's still worth it to discard here, just because. Might be able to find a blood token enabler. Alright, well. Without Cauldron, this hand would have worked out pretty nicely. Masquerade, Sag Goldhound, get back either Ovika or Carnosaur. Schooner's fine. And another cookie. I'm gonna take two, since if we block with the Mutt, they can uh, grow the Ginger Brute. And it looks like our opponent's just gonna keep up Cauldron at all times. Which makes it pretty tough to combo off here. Yeah, what are my options? I guess Scoundrel make a treasure, can maybe hard cast Ovika. And then if they use Cauldron on Ovika, I guess we could flash in Masquerade, Sag Goldhound to still get it back. So that's the hope. Opponent does not even budge, so they keep Cauldron available at all times. Schooner gets busy. So I need to bait them into using Cauldron, basically. Which we can now do by blocking Ginger Brute with a Mutt. Opponent's going to use Cauldron, and then now we strike Masquerade. But they weren't expecting that one. Opponent with a Fading Hope. So they actually had the tool to bounce Goldhounds, which is a card they should have bounced. But uh, yeah. Get back Ovika in response to the Cauldron, all on the stack. Now we're still at 9, so we're still in a bit of trouble here, but if we top deck Besiege the Mirror, we could just win. That's a Swamp. Now we do get a redraw. If I discard Ovika, I could still top deck Besiege and win, so we'll give that a try. And a Carnosaur, not bad. So take out Tough Cookie while we can. Could also wait a turn to try and cast it, and then if we hit Besiege we can win. Although now with Ovika on the battlefield, I guess maybe I should actually take out the Brutes, but then Cauldron can exile Ginger Brute to give the ability to their other creatures, so it doesn't necessarily help me. Yeah, let's just take out Tough Cookie, I guess. Keep land in hand to maybe discard to some other Blood Token or Mutt. And then Scoundrel could still chump Ginger Brutes for what it's worth. I 
think I need to play defense with Ovika. So we are still kind of hoping to top deck Besiege the Mirror here. And they could also have another Fading Hope and pay the ward to send Ovika packing. Opponent had Buseju. Could have been an answer to Masquerade, but I guess at this point the damage has been done. They're going to try and grow the Ginger Brutes, finding a Tidebinder. So Tidebinder could also potentially get in the way here. And the Larsenist luckily can't pay the ward on Ovika. Goes for Scoundrel. Alright, we still have a turn to top deck Besiege, but it's probably our last turn. Harvester. So play Harvester. Can use a blood token to discard Swamp. But then I wouldn't be able to cast Besiege, so I guess we may as well wait. Opponent gets rid of Carnosaur in response. Yeah, I guess what would have happened had I sacked Scoundrel here. I guess it's not a creature, so I don't know if it would have uh, triggered Masquerade in response, but it didn't even give us priority, so... I'm gonna assume it didn't. Pass it back. So if they play Tidebinder, counter activated or triggered ability. This is a triggered ability. And now Ginger Brute's gonna get busy. Don't have any haste creatures to block it. So yeah, that's essentially a two-turn clock since they can attack with all their flyers next turn. Okay, last chance to top deck Besiege. Do we get there? Opponent's gonna use Tidebinder. To counter the blood token, sure, fair enough. So that denied a draw step. And then now, yeah, we are out of options. But I guess a cauldron makes it easy. No risks involved. All right, well, we had a few turns to top deck out of it, despite the cauldron, which is kind of the perfect answer to our deck. So yeah, still A for effort. Couldn't quite go the distance. GG's. Any non-creature spell, I guess, also would have triggered Ovika to make some hasty goblins, which could have blocked. So yeah, just needed one of our four drops. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. And what do we think of our hand? It's got potential. Mud discards Ovika. We already have Masquerade. Although Double Mountain's gonna make it trickier to cast Besiege the Mirror on Curve if we draw it. So probably want to play Takenuma before a second mountain. And there's Besiege. So I could attack. I mean, I doubt our opponent takes the trade. I also don't really want to trade yet, since we want to set up our Masquerade. So I guess I can attack then. If they do block second main, I can still unearth the Mutt. Alright, so... Not really what I was expecting. But I'll discard another Ovika. And then next turn we could play Harvester, which sets up Masquerade pretty well. Bones got another Underdog. And now Carnosaur as well. But I do need Harvester in play to actually enable Masquerade in the first place. So I think we'll start there. If possible, keep the blood token for bargain. But still need another black source, as we mentioned. So next turn, I might be able to bring back Ovika. If our opponents go to board wipe at 5, they could still, uh, of course, clear the board. And there's our third black. So, yeah, interesting position. Given our opponents got 4 mana untapped, could represent Wandering Emperor. 
but the problem is if I play Masquerade and they take out Harvester in response, then the Masquerade didn't really accomplish much. So it's a pretty fine balance here. Could also just wait a turn and set up Carnosaur. And then uh, we've got a few more options in the graveyard. Although we're also close to just hard casting the Carnosaur. Alright, let's just go for it and see what happens. Alright, point's gonna destroy evil, the enchantment. We still get the counter on Harvester, which could matter, but we'll have to play our second Masquerade first. Now a wedding announcement. Take the hit. And Scoundrel the draw. So I could go Scoundrel, make a treasure. Play Masquerade, so we have two creatures with uh, counters on them. And hopefully there's no second Destroy Evil. Okay, take out Underdog. Get back Ovika. And then if Ovika can survive for one turn cycle, next turn we can combo. If they wipe the board without exiling, Scoundrel gets back the second Ovika, so that still works. We get to untap, so my guess is our opponent might have like a Wandering Emperor, but they can pay the ward. So I think we're good to go for Besiege here with the bargain. And then I guess I'll play my Swamp out so we can kick the final spell. And get another Besiege and with the bargain. I'll keep the Masquerade in place since it's still potentially relevant. Another Besiege. Opponent's impressed. Final Besiege. And get our Frenzy, which we can now kick as well. Okay, not bad. Send the team sideways. And we'll see what happens. Opponent's just gonna take it. Alright, sweet. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a promising hand. Just missing, perhaps, our uh, shooter effect to combo off once we get Ovika in play. But we don't lack discard outlets early. And then uh, I guess we'll need to hit our land drops as well. Our opponent to Junt Colors so far, and yeah, there's Besiege. So, get in for one. Could play the Scrapwork Mutt right now. Probably save it for next turn. And uh, getting Harvester in play could be a bit more valuable. Because we can potentially immediately sacrifice it alongside uh, Masquerade. Nothing from our opponent so far. And get to untap again. So not sure what they're trying to set up here. But uh, yeah, we can attack for four. And then luckily we draw our land for the turn. So we want to hang on to at least one blood token as something we can bargain if needed. Uh, for now we could play another Harvester, or we could play Mutt, discard Ovika, and then hope to draw another land, basically. That being said, if we use a blood token on Ovika, we can play around kind of a sorcery speed graveyard hate card. So maybe it's still better to play Harvester here. And then hope they don't have a sweeper next turn, since we do need some creatures in play to set up the Masquerade. 
opponent with Decadent Dragon instead, that's fine. And then end of turn we can discard Ovika. Goldhound is one of the exiled cards. And another Harvester, so those were both our cards they exiled. That's fine. So end of turn, discard Hovika. Hope to draw an untapped land. Which we did. Awesome. Okay, so how do we want to do this? Probably just main phase play Masquerade. And then use a Harvester of the opponent's Harvester to get back Hovika. And then we can uh, attack for three. Hang on to Harvester to maybe get Ovika once again. Could have also sacrificed Harvester to get back Harvester. But uh, if our opponent somehow deals with Ovika, it's nice to have more ways to get it back. Okay, so everything is in place to combo kill next turn. But we'll see what our opponent can come up with. Burn down the house, not good enough. Five damage. Doesn't answer Ovika. But maybe they have some other sweeper here. Nope, burn out the house anyway, so that's fine. Masquerade triggers, can get back Harvester. And another Harvester. And alright, our opponent concedes, so don't even need to show them the Besiege the Mirror combo here. But uh, yeah, we would have been in pretty good shape regardless. Okay, so we got to see this uh, red-black bargain bin deck in action. And yeah, when it goes off, it looks very impressive. But there are quite a few challenges. If your opponent can uh, exile or just remove your creatures early on before you can set up your masquerade, then uh, it's going to take you a while to set it up again. You're also kind of counting on some 4 mana cards to resolve and to actually stick the landing, which uh, the opponent can also interact with in a multitude of ways, including enchantment removal on the Masquerade itself. Graveyard hate's also a problem, especially if we're forced to discard things at sorcery speed with a Mutt, as opposed to using something like a Blood Token. So there's quite a few challenges to successfully combo off, especially in a best of three setting where the opponent can adjust their sideboard. But uh, even in best of one, some of the aggressive decks like Mono Red with etching of Kumano, exiling your creatures so they don't trigger Masquerade, and then the Convoke deck just being a little too fast for our deck to keep up means that it won't be a very competitive deck in standard. But uh, either way, that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day!